How's it going everybody? Ted Purchase, Bold Lens Photography. And uh, today I finally got a chance to put together my very first drone video and I'm really excited about that. It's been a uh, really long, crazy process. It actually took me a month to get my first drone. Uh, long story short, don't order cheap used drones on eBay. It's way more beat up than it looked like in the pictures and what the description said. And uh, then the guy sent it and something, there's a miscommunication. He accidentally sent it to the East Coast. It was supposed to go from California to Oregon. I went to the East Coast back and forth twice and I finally got it. Also, I got my uh, 107 exemption. So now I can legally, um, I just realized I had my hand on the lens button there, <laughs> but uh, I can legally fly commercially now for money, which is pretty cool. That was a nice, fun test to go take. I'll tell you about that here in a second, but just, um, you know, tell you about my experiences with my first drone. It was awesome. Uh, you'll see the footage here in a little bit. I tossed together a little video. It was really cool. It was definitely not what I was expecting. They're, they're actually a lot harder to control than you might think. I'm sure once I get used to it, it won't be so bad, but um, yeah, it's a lot going on there and it's, there's a lot that you have to concentrate on. Um, once I get better, I'll be doing some videos on how to uh, get drone footage too. As far as getting my 107, that was pretty fun. I gotta say there was a lot of studying and reading and all this other stuff that I had to do. Um, then I had to go set up an appointment and I had to take the test uh, a couple hours outside of town actually, which was fun having to drive all the way out there. It was 150 bucks, passed it on my first, first time. As far as my studying for that, there's um, 130 question uh, practice test online. You wanna get all those memorized as best you can. There's a video on YouTube that's, uh, that will go over every one of those questions like two and a half hours long. So I watched that. I did that test a few times until I could basically ace it. Then I did Tony Northrup's video, which talks about a lot of stuff on that test and some other stuff. Then I also read the guide, um, just the study guide that the FAA gives you. And I got 85% uh, on my test, which I think is like 10 questions missed or something like that. And I think it was just bad luck. I should have got higher probably because all the questions that I missed, they're all ones that I guessed on. And I think I'm pretty sure they're the only ones that I guessed on because at the end they get to show you. And I don't think I guessed on any other ones because even if you memorize the book and all the videos online, there's a ton of questions where it's, it's not in any of the material. You have to go deep in the flight code somewhere to get it. So there's a lot of questions that are just hard to get answers for. There's trick questions and if you watch the videos where they're going over the test questions, there's some where they're just completely wrong. Like <laughs> the right answer is actually wrong and you just have to know the wrong answer to give them. Um, and there's a lot of semantics and, and it's a crazy test. So it, it, it's honestly, it would be an extremely hard test if it wasn't multiple choice uh, where you only have to get, uh, where you only have three choices. And then on top of that, all you need to get is like, I think 70% or 75. I can't remember exactly, but that kind of makes it, if it wasn't for that, it'd actually be kind of a hard test, but it's pretty forgiving. Like I missed a lot of questions and I still could have missed a few more and I studied my butt off for it. And it's almost anything in the materials that I probably didn't miss, but you know, just really study. Cause if you miss, if you mess up, you know, you got to go pay 150 bucks to do it again. Uh, and I have met a few people that have had to go do it twice. So I would say it's better just to spend a couple hours and do that. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get this video rolling for you. It's just some footage I did right above my uh, hometown of Neatarts, Oregon, right on the coast. So I uh, hope you guys like the footage, and I'll see you next time.
Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, enable notification, and comment down below. If you'd like to support this channel so I can make future content, check out my website, boldlensphotography.com, where I sell fine art prints. You can also donate money at patreon.com forward slash boldlensphotography, and I'll have links below to all my social media accounts. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.